Live from the KGMB Newsroom in Honolulu, Hawaii, this is KGMB News Nightcast. Hawaii is giving new meaning to the words information at your fingertips. Today, the state started what's known as Hawaii Access a first-of-its-kind information system that combines computers with television. As Gerald Cotto explains, it's a touching tale. Kuhio Park Terrace is one of four locations equipped with the new computer workstations. The program is designed to talk to users in three languages, English, Ilocano, and Samoan. <laughs> Governor John Wahe showed a light touch in cutting the electronic ribbon, inaugurating the system. Users will find answers to questions ranging from the state health insurance program to getting a marriage license to career counseling. IBM donated the computers. The state paid $130,000 for the software developed by North Communications of Los Angeles. The main feature of it is that it uses video and audio. It's a very familiar form. It's TV. Right. Everybody has one of those in their living room, and they all feel comfortable with it. They all get information from it. They all respond to it. There's no keyboard. There's no electronic mouse. The only tool that you need is this. You know, it's the tool that you learn to use from the earliest age. The future may be now. By touching a television monitor, you may be touching the future of government, getting in touch with its citizens. We want to welcome all of you this morning as we cut the ribbon into Hawaii's new access uh, program to bring human services to a wide variety of our people. And I have actually never used this system today, so we're going to really test <laughs> its user friendliness. I understand it has a number of, uh, of features. The first thing it, it does is that it allows me to speak in various languages. <laughs> I think we have it in English and in Ilocano and in Samoan. And it is the result of a partnership that we have with IBM and with North Communications. And the, this Hawaii will be the first state in the union that has uh, a human services network for its people to find out about what services are available. And I think that's really exciting because not only do we have a responsibility to provide these services to our citizenry, we also have the responsibility of making sure that they know about them. So, with your indulgence, I, uh, I'm going to cut the ribbon. <laughs> this is News 4 at 5.30 with Tina Shelton and Dick Allgaier. And good evening on this Tuesday night. Today, Governor Wahe'e launched a new computerized state access system, and it's said to be the first of its kind in the country. To activate the system, all you have to do is touch the screen. It'll give answers on everything from state health insurance programs to finding a job. The designers say the main benefit is that it's so easy and fun to use. Our goal, and time will tell if we've achieved it, our goal is that anybody with as little as a fourth grade education, literacy level, will be able to use this system immediately, naturally, without prompting, without help. IBM donated the first four computers to be used in the project. They'll be located at sites including Kuhil Park Terrace and the Pearl City Library. Hello, and welcome to Hawaii Access. This creative new touchscreen is an easy way for you to get fast, up-to-date information about your state government. In Hawaii, we are fortunate to have a vast array of human services provided by top professionals to help everyone live healthy, productive lives. This touchscreen lets you discover those services, some of which may be new to you. Hawaii Access is a pilot project to bring government closer to you. We'll ask you to tell us how you feel about it as soon as you're through. Now start by touching the subject which interests you. <laughs> 